Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire Career, episode number 6 and today we will finally be getting into our first transfer window with this team. But before we do that, we do have a game against NYCFC, so let's get this out of the way. NYCFC is way down in the Eastern Conference, I think only Orlando is below them. So we're going to sim this, finish off the month of June with a win, thank God. <laughs> and now we can get into the transfer window. So like I said at the very beginning of this series, we're not going to be bringing in a ton of players in every transfer window. That's just not how the MLS operates. So I'm probably going to limit ourselves to two players in this transfer window. And the number one area of need, the number one spot that I'm going to address first and foremost is center back. It's been driving me crazy this entire first half of the season. We need a big center back that can win balls in the air. We do not have that in this team. And I think it's one of the reasons why we're one of the worst defensive teams in the league. So I'm 100% going to be addressing the center back position like right now. First day of the transfer window. And for the other player that we're going to be bringing in, I think there's quite a few areas of need on this team. At least a couple of areas that I'd like to address. I thought about possibly bringing in a winger. We're kind of short on depth there. I think we really only have... Frankowski on the right, then we have Kataya and Martinez on the left. We have Fabian Herbers, but he hasn't played all year because I really don't like him. But that's really it. We could use a winger for the left-hand side that has a little bit more pace to him. I think athleticism is an area of need on this team. But I don't think it's really something we need to address right now. Goalkeeper, we talked about that one with David Ousted. But I think he's been serviceable enough to the point where I think we can get by the rest of the season with him. And then we'll address that position in the MLS draft. It's one of the easier positions to find via the MLS draft. So I think we'll wait on goalkeeper as well. And then the other spot is right back. Andre Reynolds has played there quite a bit so far this season. Hasn't been awful. Been pretty decent. But still very, very raw at 60 overall and only 17 years old. Needs a lot more playing time and experience in order to uh, to get up to where we need him to be. Hassler came back from injury and played okay there. But I don't think Hassler is our right back of the future. So I think if I can find the right player for the right back spot, I'll go ahead and bring a player in for that. And kind of just start locking down this defense. A center back and a right back. I think that would help us out a lot. So a center back has been acquired. I'll be honest, it's not the one I was originally going to go for. I had a couple of center backs lined up, all from outside of the MLS, but their wages were just a little bit too high. They would have been designated players, and we don't have a designated player spot available. So instead, I opted to stay in the MLS, which means we had to trade for this player, but that's okay. I absolutely love the player that we got. I think one of the better young center backs in MLS, and that is the one Austin Trusty from Philadelphia. He's very young, still 19 years old, but super athletic, 6'3", he's got 81 strength, 76 jumping ability, he's also pretty quick with 76 acceleration and sprint speed. I like this guy, I really, really do, he's very, very much like Walker Zimmerman, which is pretty much what I was looking for anyway, so I love this dude, and he's going to fit nicely into the team. Again, we did have to give up Marcelo to get him, and I could have either traded Marcelo straight across, which is what I opted for. Or I could have given up Kappelhoff, but then I would have had to also include a first round draft pick for the MLS draft. I did not want to do that because I need that pick for a goalkeeper. So I decided to give up our better center back in Marcelo, but I think it's worth it. I love Austin Trusty. I think he's going to fit very well into the team. In other news, early in this transfer window, someone paid the release clause of Sanchez, our goalkeeper. So he is gone. I don't even know who bought him and I don't really care. And then Corrales has agreed to a pre-contract with, I think, a Norwegian team. So he'll be leaving at the end of the season, which is fine. Those are two players that I was looking to offload anyway. And just before our next game, I have acquired a right back. And I was between two different players here, both very, very similar. But I decided to go with the one that was a little bit better at getting forward and crossing the ball. Because I do think that is somewhat important on this team that lacks a little bit of athleticism. And both of them are also very rapid, which I was looking for. And I've decided to go with Nicholas Kreuzer from Dresden in the second Bundesliga. Very, very fast. Like I said, also wanted someone that could possibly get up and win some balls in the air. He has 79 jumping to go along with that speed and 90 stamina. So he's never going to get tired. 
He's good at getting forward. He also is pretty good at free kicks, which I wasn't looking for, but it's a nice addition as well. He was a little bit expensive. He's making 7K per week in wages, which is a lot, but I think he's going to be worth it. Still has a little bit of potential to him as well. Just looks like a really, really solid all-around player. So he's going to fit well in this team. Gives us a little more athleticism, which we desperately needed. I like it, man. I think, I think the defense is starting to take shape. So our new look Chicago team is on the road at BC Place in Vancouver to take on the Whitecaps. They're in sixth place in the West coming in, so we have a good challenge on our hands. And we'll see how this new defense holds up. Please don't let us still be trash defensively. I swear, I, I will not be able to handle it if we're still bad. Oh, that ball is in behind already. But, oh, look, we've won a ball in the air. Oh, my God. Okay, maybe I should have gone for a goalkeeper because David Ousted just let in one of the softest shots from distance that I've ever seen. I don't want to say that we're still trash defensively. That That's a fluke. We're going to chalk that up as a fluke shot. How in the hell did we let that through? Ooh, bad pass. McCarty. No, that was supposed to be... Oh, Katai, good job. Good job, Katai. Get it through for Frankowski. He gets there. No, oh, he went for the chip. The goalkeeper baited him so hard. He came out and then just hit the brakes. Why does Ousted jump for every... Did you really need to die for that ball, Ousted? Are you freaking kidding me? Go up for Mihailovic. Oh, Mihailovic. Watch the slide. Good job. Very well done. Nikolic now. Through for Mihailovic. That's good work. Mihailovic puts the moves on. Mihailovic hits it right down the middle. At the it was so good. The play was so good. And the finish was just so tragic. Come on, boys. Lock it up defensively. Oh, that cross comes in. Ha <laughs> ha. There's Austin Trusty in the back. Oh, I'm going to like having Austin Trusty. Now I don't crap myself every time a ball comes in there. Here we go. Come on, Katai. Let's just go far side. First time. Frankowski. Good first touch. And Frankowski scores. Do you see? Do you see how much better it is? Trusty wins a ball off of a cross at our end. Instant offense going the other way. Frankowski puts it away. Oh, that's what I've been looking for. Yes. Kreuzer. Nice. Oh, the speed of Kreuzer on that side. Already making an impact as well. Cardi sprays this out wide for Katai. Katai coming forward. Ooh, the four-star skills of Katai. Gets by a man. And he's going to do him again? Yes, he is. Katai still coming forward with it. In there for Nikolic. Nikolic for Frankowski. Frankowski with his second. There's the offense, boys. Oh, it feels so good to be good again. It's been a struggle for the last month or so with his team. But we're finally starting to put it together. Oh, look at the speed of Austin Trusty. You can't beat He's so good. He's so good. He's such a good addition to this team. Guy 10 putting a ball in the air for Katai. He doesn't have good speed, but he has a great first touch and keeps control of it. It's like one on five right now. He's got nowhere to go. He's going to fall back. Bronico off the inside of the post. So close to making it three. Oh, they're not out of danger yet. Now they clear it. Oh, that was so close. Veronico, what a ball forward for Christian Martinez. That's a good way to find the space there. Oh, missed. Wow, they really... What was that defending from Vancouver? They just didn't mark anyone. They didn't try to stop Martinez. They didn't mark Nikolic, the league's leading scorer. And it's 3-1 Chicago, and that pretty much is going to end this thing. That is going to do it for this one. Uh, Vancouver got off to a good start. And then we flat out just ran them over. That was a very impressive performance by us. As a whole team, the entire team, minus maybe Ousted, played very, very well. So moving on now, we have another showdown with Philadelphia. We have momentarily leapfrogged them into first place in the Eastern Conference. But this is a whole different kind of a test. Vancouver, while they're in a good spot in the standings, they're also the worst goal scoring team in the league. So... It was a good way to test out the new defense. Philadelphia is not only one of the best offensive teams in the league, they're also the best defensive team in the league. So this one is just going to be a whole different level of difficult. All right, come on, the boys. Hold that defensive line today. I swear to God, if I see Sergio Santos do his stupid little dance on our home field, I'm going to freaking lose my mind. Oh, no. No, not already. Not Santos. Ha! You missed it, you prick. I don't know how he missed it, but I, I'm going to say Austin Trusty put him off just in... I mean, yeah, he he swung at him. 
Boy, Kreuzer. Good play there. Nikolic on it. Nikolic. Freaking just couldn't get it to get out of his feet. He just got stuck there and had to take a left-footed shot. Oh, please catch it, Ousted. Oh, don't punch it back there. Przmilko. Oh, my God. Ousted. I have zero trust in you at all. Like, you are just absolute trash. Oh, that was a bad pass. Boy, Kreuzer read that very, very well. And gets a good pass off to Katai. That's a great play from Katai to Nikolic. He's going to have to hit it. What? How? How did we only end up with that shot? We had a two-on-one and couldn't get the ball any closer. Like, they clo they got back so quickly. Forward for Kreuzer. Here comes the speed of Nicholas Kreuzer. Look at him go. He's got the quickness. He's got the speed. He's got the pullback. He got the ball taken off of him by who? How? What? Seriously? And they kept it in? Oh, kiss my ass. Oh, here comes Santos. Marked by Trusty. Go on, Trusty. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. Oh, Schweini's trying to keep up with Santos. He tries to cross, but there's Trusty again. Go on, Austin Trusty. And the offense the other way for Frankowski. This might be our best chance. Frankowski inside. Nikolic. One more. Padoya? Alejandro Padoya? Seriously? Beautiful play. Come on for Frankowski. Settle it. Frankowski. It was half blocked by Blake, but Frankowski scores. There it is. The opening goal 70 minutes in. And it is that boy Frankowski who has had a monster episode to get us the lead late in this one. Come on, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's a mistake. Ousted made a save? Kreuzer, maybe the only mistake he's made of the game, pushed too far forward and Picot got behind him. Shot wasn't great, but Ousted actually did something right. Oh, no. Here comes Philly. Ball in the box. Trusty is there. That's what I'm telling you. That's what we've been missing. The crosses are just nullified by Austin Trusty against his former team. But that's not Fabian... Oh, Fabian in the 88th minute hits a lay. I can't blame Ousted for that one. That was just a worldy of a strike by Fabian. And it's the equalizer. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. This is bad. This is very bad. Fabian going up against Edwards. Edwards. Jesus, Fabian is putting the moves on. That was blocked, though. Okay, you know what? We're done. We're done. No more chances taken here. Let's just punt this ball up. We're not even going to get to do that. 1-1 one, one is the final against Philly. Still have not beaten them this season. That one was just a heartbreaker. I thought we had it. We played well enough to win. Just got caught at the very, very end there. Damn it. We are back on the road for the next one. Our third game in seven days. And we're off to Frisco to take on FC Dallas. I think they're in fourth place in the West. So another good opponent for us in this episode. And we're going to have to rotate the team a little bit. Kapelhoff's going to play in the defense next to Trusty. Corrales is starting at left back. I'm not happy about that, but I don't have anyone else. Martinez on the left-hand side. And I'm going to try Schweiny in the midfield next to Dax McCarty. Very, very little pace in there. But we'll see how that goes. Oh, here comes the overlap of Corrales. Oh, my God. Oh, that's a good play. Oh, that's a really good play. Early ball across. What? How did Hedges get back? He's the slowest guy on the planet. Nicely done. Beautiful. We're just getting anything we want up this left-hand side. Martinez, this time it's not going to be blocked. Ball for Frankowski. He cannot stop scoring. He has been in insane. That finish was unbelievably difficult. That was a bouncing ball that was almost past him. And somehow, he might have actually mishit that. Hit it back across goal and into the bottom corner. I mean, I guess when you're in that good a form, things just go your way. And Frankowski has been insane lately. Oh my god, here we go again. McCarty looking for a ball. There's Frank. You just can't stop him. He's actually just that good. And it's two for Frankowski. He just rolls it by the keeper sweetly off the inside of the post. That's two goals in like two minutes. He's insane. I am failing to see how this Dallas team is in fourth place in the West. They're out of position defensively. They're also too slow to recover. I mean, we're literally just walking through them at points. It's just, it's just horrific. 
Oh my god, what a ball out of there by Frankowski. Gets this ball up to Gaitan. Gaitan across in the middle. One more through. Christian! He wasn't even offside. He just straight blew that finish. He allegedly has a five-star weak foot. That's a nub shot. You have got a nub, my friend. Oh, here we go again. Ball up for Corrales. And there it is through for Martinez. I don't think we're able to get him in on the ground. But in the air. Oh, Frankowski. I wanted to lay it across on the ground. It just wasn't there. So Martinez put it in the air. He got there. Just a... That was a ridiculous... If he could have finished that, it's game over. Forward again. Frankowski is just terrorizing the left back here in Dallas. He just cannot keep up with him. Oh, he's just spinning him in circles now. Oh, Frankowski, Grezzo finally came over to help, but Frankowski's just embarrassing the guy. Uh-oh. That's bad. That's so... We're not catching Barrios. That might be 2-1, and it is. I got, I got too cocky. I'll admit it. I was too cocky. That was just... That was stupid. Here we go. Corrales coming forward. I'm not even sure how he's this far forward, but he is. Coming inside. Guy 10. Another one. You're not stopping a shot from right there. Not from the league's leading scorer in the Manion Ikulich. We got a little bit fortunate to even get that attack, but we'll take it. That gives us a little bit of breathing room with about 20 minutes left. 3-1 here in Frisco. Um, there's no one out here on this side. Mosquera gets a ball in, but there is Austin Trusty. Can you... I love Austin Trusty. I hate Fabian and Herbers, but I love Austin Trusty. Oh, come on, Adams. Don't leave the show. Oh, no. Oh, boys. Dallas are just forcing it down our throats at this point. I can't get the ball out of my own half. And the only person that seems to be open ever is Fabian Herbers. But his touch, even when he's by himself, is so god-awful that he can't even control simple passes. Like... He's. I got to get rid of him. Like he's the first player to go with the next transfer window. When I can bring someone else in to replace him, he is killing me right now. Is there still time for one more Dallas attack? Oh Lord, help us! There is. They're gonna get this attack. Hassler. Oh, I brought him in in the left back spot. And he blocks the cross. Okay, we have to block one more. We have to stop one corner. Can we please stop one corner? Oh, it's near post. Guy Tan clears it. Not far enough. Barrios, nope, the ref blows the whistle before he even gets the cross away. That was way, way closer than it should have been and needed to be. Wow, we just let them back in that at the end. That was completely unacceptable. So for our last game today, we're going to have a simulation at home against Toronto. The reason we're simming this is because our next game after this is away against Toronto. So we'll start next episode with that one, which we will play Hopefully we can finish today with a win. We do. Katai returns to the lineup and scores twice. Our wingers are just destroying teams today. And before we wrap things up today, we can have a look at who is on expiring contracts for our team. Because I kind of forgot about these guys. Corrales, we already know, is leaving at the end of the season. He already signed a pre-contract. Mo Adams, I'm not sure about him. Because, honestly, I've preferred Bronico over Mo Adams lately. And... I'm not sure if I want to bring Mo Adams back. He does have good enough potential that I might give him a new contract if for no other reason than to sell him on later for more money. But I'm not sure about him. Bronico, I probably will resign. As I said, he has been my preferred choice as a backup midfielder recently. And he has pretty good potential around 70. So he's, he's worth keeping around. And then we have Nemanja Nikolic. He already has a pre-contract offer from Club Bruges, so we will have to make a decision on him at the beginning of next episode. Let me know what you guys think. Should we bring him back and stick with him for maybe another season or two? He is 30 years old, already declining in his overall, but he is the league's leading scorer and has been effective for us this season. If we get rid of him, if we let him leave, we can bring in a new designated player striker to replace him. I'm pretty sure I know which way you guys are going to lean, but let me know in the comments below. Should we keep him? Should we let him go? And in the Eastern Conference, we've actually opened up a pretty nice lead. Eight points over Philadelphia, although they do have two games in hand. So they could close that gap quite quickly. And we haven't beaten them yet this season. I think we have one more game in the regular season against them. We also might play them in the U.S. Open Cup. I can't remember who our next opponent is for that. But that should be coming up quite quickly as well. Atlanta's right there on 38 points. And there is New York Red Bulls also on 37. And we haven't beat New York yet this year. So 
There's still, there's still some very, very good teams and plenty of games left to play. In the West, Sporting and Seattle are on 37 points. Galaxy, four points back, and then the rest of the field. It's really just those three teams battling for the Western Conference at this point. So, that's where we're going to end it for today. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you when we come back for some more Chicago Fire career. See ya.